Hello students. So this is the fourth question in the series of orthographic projection. And this is a, again a third angle projection. So let's make a XY line, which is a reference line on which we are going to make a top view and front view. So this is a top view and front view of my figure. So this is a third angle projection. So top view is always above the XY line and front view is always below the XY line as opposed to first angle projection. And this vertical line gives me a profile plane line on which we are going to make a side view. And in this case, we have a right hand side view, which is always right towards the profile plane because this is a third angle projection as opposed to first angle projection in which if we are going to make a right hand side view, then we have to make a view on the left hand side of the profile plane. So before starting the solution, let's give naming to each vertex of the 3D figure. Now in this again, we don't have any uh, arrow for the front view, top view and side view. So I'm going to make a uh, this side is front view and this could be my right hand side view because as observer have to move words toward its own right hand side to make the right hand side view of this figure. So let's start the solution. Take a scale for the front view, which is 80 mm from the front side. This one make a line 2, 3. So this is a 2, 3 line, which is 80 mm from the front view. Now 3, 4 line, which is 5 mm in dimension take a scale and make a 5 mm line so this is a four point and complete it like this again take a scale now 4 to 15 which is 25 mm so make a line 4 to 15 which is 25 mm so this is 15 point now students 15 to 14 in the figure we do not have any dimension of this line but we can find out this dimension with the help of this 3D figure. As we can see that this 15 to 14 line will complement to this diameter or radius point. So diameter of this particular semicircle is 20 mm. So we can see that if this is a center point and this could be a radius, then this is a 10 mm because diameter is 20 radius could be a 10 mm and this is equal to 15 to 14 line this vertical line will give me a 10 mm dimension so take a scale and this is a 10 mm line now this could be a 14 point now from 14 to 13 which is again 5 mm as per the 3d figure so this point could be a 13 now, instead of making this semicircle, I will come to point 2 and make a line 2 to 7, which is again 5 mm. So this point could be a 7. Now from 7 to 8, which is again 25 mm. So I take a scale and make a line 25 mm and this point is 8. And from 8 to 9, I already find out 8 to 9 is 10 mm. So I make a line of 10 mm and again 5 mm towards this side and this point could be a 10. So students, we already know that 10 to 13 point dimension is 20 mm as per the given figure. We can find out a center of it. So this could be the center of it, which is 10 mm from that 10 or also 13 point. With the help of compass, I make a semicircle of diameter 20 mm over here and the complete dimension from 9 to 14 is 30 mm as per this given figure so i make a dimension here which is 30 mm now I'm taking the projections towards top view from the front view and starting making a top view i make a horizontal line which is parallel to xy line and cuts the projection lines from the front view like this so this could be my a uh, four point and this could be my seven point. So you can see this, this will overlap here. 
So I take a projection from front view towards top view, which meets my four to seven lines. So you can see this when I see from the top, this four is visible and seven is visible from the top view. So I make this line. So this is a complete line. So because when you see from the four to 14, this is a complete line. 14 to 13 is a complete line. 13 to 10 is a semicircle from the front view. But when you see from the top, it gives me a complete single line. So 10 to 9 is a line and 9 to 7 is again a line. So this is a 4 to 7 line. Then I take a scale and with the help of scale, I make a 40 mm line like this. So this is a 40 mm line and it will give me a 7 to 18 point and this is a this one line which is 40 mm according to given figure. Now from 18 I again make a line and this is a 5 point and I complete the 4 to 5 line which is vertical one. Now from the top view these lines are also visible to me. So I'm going to make these lines now 4 to 14. So 4 to 14. This could be a 14 point which is 25 mm away from 4 and I already take a projection of 25 mm from front view. So this could be a 14 point and from 14 I make this line towards this one and this is a 16 point. Again from 13 so this could be a 13 point and from 13 I make this point which is 17. In the same way from 10 and from 10 I make a 10 11 line and this could be a 9 and I from 9 I make a 9 to 12 line. So students the lines has been done from the top view but when you see that these holes are also visible from the top view. So you have to make these holes. So how to make these holes you have to locate the center points of these holes first. So center point dimensions are given so 12 mm from 7 to 18 line so i will take it like this so from 18 it is 12 mm towards this side so this is the first dimension of the center point so make a center line like this now for 20 mm i will take again a scale and from 7 to 18 point i will take like this so this is a 20 mm so this could be the center point of my circle. Now with the help of compass, I can make a circle by putting a compass on this center point and make a circle like this of 10 mm diameter. In the same way, I can make a, another circle which is on exactly opposite side of this circle which I already made. So the center of this particular circle is also the same which is 12 mm and 20 mm from the two dimensions. So I can directly make a circle like this. So this could be a, so from here, this is a 12 mm and this is a 20 mm. So now I can make a circle like this, which is again of 10 mm. Now after making this top view, now starts making a side view. Now for the side view, I have to make a 45 degree line. This is a 45 degree line and take a projections on this 45 degree line from the top view and take downwards and also take the projections from the front view like this. Now wherever these projection lines from the top view and front view cuts, that could be the outline of my side view, whether it is a left hand side view, whether it is a right hand side view. But in this case, we have a right hand side view. Now I'm making a horizontal line first, which is my 40 mm from the side view, you can see this 40 mm is already given. So this 4, 5 line is also a 40 mm. And this 40 mm line gives me a 3 point and this point, which is, so when you make like this, this could be hidden from this side, but from the side view, it will be visible. Okay, so I make a X over here. This could be a X point. So from X to upside, which is, 5 mm so this could be my a uh, 5 uh, 5 point and also a 5 mm and above of that we have a 10 mm so that could be a 16 point from downwards so this complete i can make directly like this so i complete the outline like this now this could be my outline of side view and you have to make a 4 5 point now from 5 to 4 so this 
also this is also visible from the side view four or five line so i complete like this so this could be a four or five line now students after making side view we have to check the hidden lines in this figure when i see from the front view i have hidden edges but that hidden edges are from the holes so students you have to remember this thing whenever you have a two holes in your 3d figure you always have a hidden edges so in this case complete holes are visible from the top view so from top view i will take a projections towards my front view like this so i take a projections from the holes towards the front view to make a hidden lines over here so after taking the projections let's make a hidden edges so these are the hidden edges in the front view so how these hidden edges will be there in the front view so when you see from the front side these are downwards because this complete is a hole because and in orthographic projection you have to show the holes as a hidden edges from which view that complete circles or holes are not visible to you so from the front view it is not completely visible only from the top view it is completely visible so you have to make the hidden edges over here like this and you can also make a center lines for these hidden edges like this take a scale take a projection from the top view toward downside and make a center line in between the hidden edges in the same way i can make these hidden edges like this and make a center line from the top view center line towards downside like this so this is my completion of front view and top view but when you see from the side view you also have a hidden edges of these through holes in the side view so you have to take the projections towards right side like this and downside and take a hidden edges like this which is again of 10 mm so these are the projections from the top view and these are the hidden edges in the side view so students this is a completion of my this question so this is a new one because in the previous questions of this series i do not have a question like this in which we have a through holes so if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section thank you everyone